What's good family? Welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm going to be dropping a second video because I don't want to just post one video about a personal experience I had and not post something that has to do with actually helping y'all. So, I'm going to be bringing y'all a video on how to raise your vibration. Now, for anybody that's asking, what does it mean to raise your vibration? Raising your vibration basically means becoming conscious of your thoughts and becoming self-aware and basically eliminating negative thoughts and replacing them with positive thoughts eight ways to do that number one i'm gonna be reading off my laptop so excuse me for looking back and forth becoming conscious of your thoughts everything you say think or feel will become your reality plain and simple you have to realize that at this point if you're watching my videos you probably know this by now so i'm, I'm not going to dwell too much into that topic just know that everything you think see not see everything you think feel or do will become your reality so be mindful of that the second way to raise your vibration eat healthy and maintain a good diet when you eat healthy when you're filling your body with good nutrients when you're eating healthy when you're eating fruits and vegetables you are essentially replacing it's like take, here's an example. It's like you're taking the expired food out of the fridge and replacing it with healthy food. You can't eat bad food. You can't eat McDonald's. You can't eat fast food. You can't, you really shouldn't be eating meat, but that's a whole nother video. You can't be eating fast food like at all. Because what you need to realize is fast food programs you. Fast food, when you eat fast food, when you eat all those chemicals, all that processed shit, it, it puts you in a low vibration because it's it's controlling like the way you feel it's going all th it's flowing all through your body your bloodstream it's it's flowing it's it's going to your body like I don't know how to really explain it but like a diet is a very important thing on your spiritual journey the diet is probably the most important thing on your spiritual journey because your diet it, it 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 it's like the it's like the uh it's like the, the the deciding factor for how your like how your life goes, bro. Essentially, I mean, bro, what you need to realize is we only have one body. This is our only body, right? This is our only physical body. You have to take care of it, bro. Cuz you're going to be old and you're going to come to a point where you can't even fucking walk and you can't like you're just always going to be on a wheelchair. You're always going to be questioning, you know, when is my time coming? Like a lot of people, a lot of people like telling me, giving me the excuse. Like I, I say like, all right, go vegan. Your life will be way better. You'll be way happier and you're going to live longer. And people still tell me, people like to always tell me, well, you know, my grandma, she's not vegan and she's living till 90. It's not about how long you live. It's about the quality of those years that you live. Because you can live till 90, but for the last 30 years of your life, you're on a wheelchair. Or you can live till 90, and for those last 90 years of, or for the last 30 years of your life, you're walking around like you're still young. You know what I'm saying? So it's about the quality of those years you live. I can't really explain to y'all off the top of my head why eating and why having a good diet is important. But you have to realize that what you put into your body decides how your mind thinks you know what i'm saying it's really hard to explain i want to make a video on that topic i'm probably going to write that down because i really want to talk about that but i'm not going to waste too much time on that topic the third way to raise your vibration hang around vi high vibrational people simple as that you got to realize who you hang around you are who you hang around bro you are who you hang around so if you hang around a bunch of a bunch of bums, you are going to be a bum. If you hang around a bunch of billionaires, eventually you will become a billionaire. If you hang around a bunch of alcoholics, you will be an alcoholic. If you hang around a bunch of potheads, you will be a pothead. So you are who you hang around. You are your environment. If you hang around high vibrational people, people that are positive, people that meditate, people that go in nature, people that are just carefree, people that are just living, happy, then you will become that because you will learn something from them and you will implement it into your life. That's why 
That's why when you see my videos and you leave my videos, you leave my videos becoming a better person because you're learning something from me. You're learning something from me and you're using it and you're implementing it into your life. That's It goes the same way with hanging around high, vib high vibrational people. If you hang around high vibrational people, you're going to pick up on what they're doing. You're going to pick up on all the things that they're doing right and you're going to implement it into your life because you're learning something from them. You know what I'm saying? Like hanging around high vibrational people is it's it's very important. It's a very important thing to do because, like I said, you are who you hang around. If you hang around a bunch of no nobodies, you're gonna be a nobody. You know what I'm saying? So hanging around the right people, hang around people that want to see you become better. Hang around people that care for you, that actually love you. Hang around people that are like, nah, you know what? Put that blunt down. We don't want you to smoke that blunt or. Or don't drink tonight. Don't drink tonight. We don't want you to drink tonight. Or or people that just push you in the right direction, bro. You need good people around you in order to go a long way. It's faster alone, but you can go farther together. You know what I'm saying? So the fourth way to raise your vibration, practice acts of kindness. It could be as little as giving a compliment. It could be giving money to the homeless. It could be... Uh, bringing out an umbrella to a couple that's a, not a couple, but somebody that's drenched in the rain. Anything, bro. Practice acts of kindness because it just shows that you're not stingy with your love. It shows that you're not stingy with... It, 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 it takes a lot out of somebody to practice acts of kindness. It takes a lot out of somebody to give give back, you know what I'm saying, so if you can do that, that basically shows other people that you're not, you're not stingy with giving back, you're not stingy with the things that you have, because you realize that there's no, and there's, you realize that, how do I explain it, because it shows people that you realize that giving back means a lot, you know, it shows people that giving back is, is not something that you're not, it's not something that is difficult for you to do because it feels good to you. Like, you ever give back to somebody or you ever give money out to the homeless and you ever feel, like, really good after? That's You're raising your vibration by doing that because you're, like, putting your mind into, 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 this, into this realization that giving back is, is a good thing and it's a good thing to do. So giving back is is very important. Giving back is is probably probably like it's it's a good trait to have. It's a good trait to have. It's it sh it, get, it takes a lot out of somebody to give back. So if you can do that, more power to you. I, I'm 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 really I'm really happy that you can do that because there's an, the world we live in today, bro. And there's not like people don't people don't give back nowadays, bro. People don't give back. People do. Like, I mean, even just with celebrities, like, we got celebrities with, with all these big-ass homes, eight, nine rooms, and it's like, why the fuck do you need that many rooms, you know? But I don't want to dwell into that. The fifth way to raise your vibration is show gratitude. Show gratitude. Take time out of your day to thank God, thank yourself, and thank everything, you know, thank Thank yourself for everything you put yourself through. Thank yourself for for making it this far. Thank yourself for... I thank myself for this tank top, these shorts, these slides, my hair, this earring. Everything, man. I show gratitude towards everything. Because it's just like... It's like you're, you're... How do you say it? You're realizing how far you came. You know, you're realizing where you are today and you're just taking that time out to to be appreciative and be humble for how far you made it and that raises your vibration the sixth way to raise your vibration is do affirmations i do these every single day these are probably this is probably one of the most important things in my day because if i don't do my affirmations then i feel sluggish i feel like i'm not i, f I feel like there's something missing if i don't do my affirmations so what my what affirmations basically are is like talking to yourself. You're supposed to talk to yourself. I know people say it's weird, but 
You're supposed to talk to yourself. That's how you t- that's how you connect with the source. That's how you connect with your higher self. That's how you get all these ideas, all these creative thoughts and ideas, all these That's how you get answers. Essentially, that's how you get all these things. I'm going to come clean, bro. Affirmations are probably my favorite things to do cuz it makes you feel great afterwards. Once you do affirmations, it makes you feel pumped. It makes you feel ready. And it makes you feel like, damn, bro. Like, You're basically like tricking your mind into believing everything you are saying is true. Which is true. Which hopefully the things that you're saying are true. But it's like you're tricking your mind into believing it already. So what affirmations are is like, for an example, what I like to say a lot is, I'm a genius. I'm loved. I feel good always. I will maintain everything. I love life. Thank you, God. Thank you for having me. I'm on my purpose. I won't let you down, God. I'm going to live for you. I'm the chosen one. I will manifest anything I want. Just, bro, just talk to yourself and gas yourself up. Like, pump yourself up and just do affirmations. That's how you raise your vibration because you're basically implementing all these positive thoughts and ideas into your mind. And like I said, you're tricking your mind into believing that what you're saying is true. So another way, the seventh way to raise your vibration. And I can't really speak on this a lot because I got to be honest, I don't really do this. But for all the times that I have spent time out in nature, which is the seventh way, for all the times that I have spent out in nature, my vibration has really raised. The seventh way to raise your vibration is spending time in nature. When you spend time in nature, because nature, it heals the body. You, you may not realize it, but being in nature, it like brings clarity. It heals your body. It makes you feel better. So when you spend time in nature, it also gives you a lot of information. Like spending time in nature, nature, you're connecting with the source. And you're, you're basically being open to receive all these ideas, thoughts, and answers. It's like spending time in nature is just really like because you got to realize bro like yeah like being in the house all day yeah it's cool but bro it it only goes so far until you reach that point where you're like bro i'm tired of being in this fucking house like i'm i'm the bro it literally brings your mood down because you don't see the outside world you don't see any sunlight so, like, you really got to get your ass out in nature and just, just be one with the earth and really just enjoy life and be in the moment. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I really can't speak on that too much because I don't really do it that often. But for all the times that I have been out in nature, I will say it has raised my vibration. The eighth and final way to list, or, I'm sorry. The eighth and final way to raise your vibration is to listen to 430. 430- Two hertz music the sound of the universe 432 hertz music is basically like i said the sound of the universe it's a positive frequency it's a positive vibration and it basically it puts you in a good mood it puts you in a meditative state and it just bro it just feels good like i don't like the i can't really explain the two I can't really decipher the two. I can't really tell. I can't really tell you all the difference. You kind of just have to feel it. Like pay attention to how you feel when you listen to these frequencies. 440 hertz music is the music that they play to us in clubs, through Apple Music, through all these streaming platforms. 440 hertz is the main frequency that they use. 432 hertz music is the positive vibration, the positive frequency, the sound in the universe. And that basically, it pays. It basically puts you in a good mood. 440 hertz music, on the other hand, it, it puts you in a bad mood. It's a bad frequency. It's a bad vibration. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your soul. Bro, I really, like, I can't, I can't, like, explain the difference. You kind of just have to, like, feel it. Like, do test it out for yourself. Go on YouTube. Look up 432 hertz, 432 hertz music versus 440 hertz And just listen to the sound test and just come back to this video and explain to me how you feel. Because I really can't explain to y'all what the difference is. You kind of just have to experience it for yourself. So with all that being said, that is eight ways to raise out your vibration. 
I hope y'all learn something new. I hope y'all can implement this into your life. And trust me, over time, when you begin to do these things, you're you're becoming open to receive. You're becoming you're you're connecting with the source, with God. So over time, you will receive like downloads of information, downloads of new ideas, downloads of 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 um positive thoughts, downloads of creativity. When you raise your vibration, you're, you're like I, I don't want to repeat myself, but you're 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 connecting with the source, bro. When you're raising vi your vibration, you're abiding to 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 that God consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So do these things, man. Test these things out for yourself, and I promise your life will go way better. I do about out of eight of these things, I probably do about seven. Besides spending time in nature. I probably do about 70 of these things, and they have changed my life. They have changed my life 100%. So I want y'all to really to really um, get enough idea of where I'm coming from, get enough idea of all these things that I've named out, and just try it out for yourself. So with all that being said, if y'all let this video motivate, if y'all let this video inspired, or if you let this video a better person, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. Hope y'all have a good one.